fact, uh, uh, like I told you earlier, I, I started uh, uh, this presentation off with a shot of Moa to give me that little little boost of uh, energy that uh, <laughs> that I think it gives most of us. And uh, you know, a lot of people think of Moa as a juice, okay? And I, I and I want to um, dispel that because it's not a juice. Um, it it is a a blend of superfoods. Um, and it, while juices are great. You know, juices, you know, um, by, by nature of juicing, um, they, they take out or, or they don't allow all of the, all of the essential nutrients um, to, to get in there. Um, and as we talk about MOA, I think you'll uh, come to appreciate the fact that it is so much more um, than a juice. Um, let's advance to the slides, to the next slide here. Um, there are 34 superfoods um, in MOA. And what are superfoods? And I think that that's, that's important to understand. But, but these are foods that uh, have a, a high uh, concentration of vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants, and the, these phytonutrients. The phytonutrients are things that we, we really are only beginning to understand. Um, but we do know um, that they are essential um, to good health. Um, not only you know to, to our our personal health directly, but also to that microflora, you know the, the bacteria that live in our gut. Okay, and and a number of studies have been done showing that you know people who have a, a very healthy uh, you know a diverse um, a microflora in their gut. Um, tend to have a lower incidence of obesity and a lower incidence of diabetes. Okay. Now, when we look at you know the diets of these healthy people, typically they contain a a, a variety, a diverse um, array of fruits and vegetables. Okay. When we look at the diets of the people that are obese and um, who are diabetic. They tend to have a diet that has more processed, refined foods, a lot of simple carbohydrates. Okay, and so you know, from a from a weight loss perspective, from an overall health perspective, you really need to have a a, a wide complement of fruits and vegetables and berries and other things in your diet um, if you want to maintain a, a healthy microflora and a healthy microflora really does translate into a healthier you okay so look at the list here I mean we have a, a whole host of you know fruits and vegetables not vegetables fruits seeds uh, and, and and other things that um, some of which are, are very well recognized, but then others that are going to need a little bit of explanation, and I, I'll, I'll talk about those as, as we go on. Uh, so next slide, please. We have fruits, we have berries, we have mushrooms, and we have roots, leaves, and seeds, okay? Um, and. Um, we're going to talk about uh, each of these uh, 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 types of ingredients in a little more detail. Um, but we, ha we have a host of natural, organic um, nutrients here. Now fruits. Fruits, we all recognize that uh, uh, they are loaded you know, with, with uh, beneficial things, you know, the phytonutrients. You know, they have um, you know, carotenoids. They have anthocyanins, uh, you know, a whole host of vitamins and minerals. And a lot of people tend to shy away from fruits because of the glycemic index, okay? Um, but fruits eaten whole, okay, uh, intact fruits, you know, that cell wall, you know, that, that contains all the sugars and carbohydrates and whatnot, is sort of hard for our gut to break down. So that the sugar, um, the glycemic load, is going to be less for fruits than it is for a lot of other um, carbohydrates that we might consume. Um, but the fruits, like I said, have been shown to, to definitely benefit us in so many ways, and um, the phytonutrients, um, you know, th that are packed into fruits, the antioxidants, um, like I said, 
they were only scratching the surface as to the true benefits of uh, many of these things. Um, citrus fruits, um, the dark colored fruits, um, berries, uh, those are going to be much better for you than things, you know, like, uh, like bananas, for instance. Um, but uh, there's a host of fruits packed into MOA. Some of these fruits were added um, purely for their nutritional um, value. But some of these fruits were also added to make the MOA, you know, very palatable. Um, but they were not included unless they actually added some nutritional um, value to the product itself. Okay, so the fruits that are uh, in MOA, we have mango, we have apples, we have noni fruit, bergamot. Now bergamot, I want to spend a little time on bergamot. Bergamot's a citrus fruit and uh, it's been grown for um, thousands of years in the sort of the toe region of Italy. Uh, and um, it has been uh, uh, used in, in medicine and fragrances for, for well over a thousand years. But the interesting thing about bergamot is that it really has profound effects on cholesterol. In fact, it's being very well studied in Italy. Um, it decreases your total cholesterol, decreases your LDL cholesterol, decreases your triglycerides, and increases your HDL. So it does everything that we want something to do with regards to your cholesterol. So it, it lowers the bad stuff and increases the good stuff. Now the bergamot, we don't use the whole fruit. We use a, a, an extract of the fruit um, that comes from a company in Italy and uh, that's and we have a contract with that company that we have to use their product in meaningful doses. What that means is that we have to put enough of this bergamot into the product so that every dose that you take is going to provide you some clinically relevant benefit. Now the extract for that product alone is $600 a kilo, so almost $300 a pound uh, for, for the bergamot extract that goes into MOA. Then we have pear, we have mangosteen. You know, there are companies that uh, have products relying solely on mangosteen. We have orange, we have plum, we have peach, there's dried plum, and there's pomegranate. So those are the fruits that are in MOA, uh, but the one that really sticks out is that bergamot. And uh, so if you know anyone who has issues with cholesterol, this might be something that they would try. You know, I, I can't make claims about the MOA, but I can certainly say things about bergamot, which is very well studied. And the bergamot concentration in MOA is in clinically relevant doses. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please, Woodson. What about berries? Uh, again, you know, berries, you know, uh, you know we, we tend to lump berries and fruits in the same category. They're technically different, but again, they have all sorts of phytonutrients, they're loaded with antioxidants, um, and uh, the more antioxidants that you have from a variety of sources, the better you're going to uh, be able to handle those, those free radicals um, that occur as, as a natural process of uh, production of cellular energy. Um, not to mention all of the inhaled uh, you know, toxins that, that increase the antioxidant uh, or the, the um, free radical load. So the more antioxidants that you have, you know, the better off you're going to be. So let's look at the list of berries. We have blueberry, we have acai berry, which has been touted as a very powerful antioxidant, elderberry, acerola berry, which is a great source of vitamin C, cranberry, strawberry, goji berry, blackberry. Again, some names on here of, of individual ingredients that, that some companies, you know, um, build a whole product around. Okay, so what we have done is we have taken the best of, you know, many different um, berries and fruits and, and put them into a single product. Um, next slide, please. And now the mushrooms. You know, mushrooms, you know, uh, are, are sort of um, poorly understood, um, you know, by most of us. 
And uh, more and more research is, is going on um, with regards to mushrooms. Um, and our product has actually four different types of mushrooms that ha have shown to have clinical benefit. The, the, the premier mushroom is the miyataki mushroom. Okay, this is a pretty common mushroom, grows worldwide. However, um, next slide please, Woodson. Okay, our miyataki mushroom, uh, and again, it's not the whole mushroom, it's, it's an extract. Um, this has been well studied um, at Kobe University in Japan. And what they're finding is that the miyataki mushroom has profound effects on the immune system boosting the immune system. Um, it also helps with cholesterol and blood pressure control. Now the miyataki um, extract that we get, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a natural way of um, um, extracting the, the potent uh, beta-glucans that are found in, in this mushroom. Um, and it's a product called miyataki gold. Okay? This product costs $2,600 per kilo. Okay? It is the most expensive ingredient in the RX formulary. Okay? Um, $2,600 per kilo, that's about $1,200 a pound. And again, they would not sell it to RX unless it was put into the product in meaningful doses. Okay? We have a contract stipulating that. And so, Every dose of MOA is going to have a meaningful dose of this miyataki mushroom extract in it. Um, and, uh, you know, I have heard story after story about people who, who had, you know, um, some autoimmune types of issues, um, rheumatoid arthritis and the sort, who have started on the MOA and have noticed a clinical benefit. Okay? Um, and now, I can't make claims about the MOA. But I can say that the miyataki mushroom, the extract that's in this product, has been studied in Japan and does help with immune-related problems. Next slide, please. So we talked already about the, the beta-glucans. These are um, polysaccharides, you know, um, strings of sugar put together, um, special, special types of sugars, which actually stimulate the immune system. Okay, they can activate certain cells, and they can actually sometimes um, suppress certain cells. Okay, so uh, these include the macrophages. These are large immune cells that sort of go around and gobble up bad things. The T cells, uh, which um, help modulate the entire immune system. Um, the release of interleukins, um, which also help modulate the immune system. So. In some studies, it appears to slow the growth, the growth of cancer in some cell cultures and in mice. Okay? Again, uh, you know, no um, clinical studies in, in uh, humans today, but uh, it does appear that uh, um, it does have profound effects, beneficial effects on the immune system um, in, in, in the laboratory. Next slide, please. The shiitake mushroom. Okay, again, uh, it has been shown in animal studies to have positive results with regards to cancer. Also inhibits uh, uh, certain viruses, and also helps lower cholesterol. Okay, now there have been some some studies in humans. Okay, which shows. Um, that it, it, it helps prolong the life of patients with advanced and recurrent stomach and colorectal cancer who are also given chemotherapy. Okay? So, um, you know, my thought is um, that uh, um, why wait in, until <laughs> you have a, a real problem to deal with? Um, I'm taking the MOA and, uh, you know, I, I feel very confident that it is going to help boost my immune system and help protect me from things that uh, might occur in the future. Next slide, please, Woodson. Okay, the Riche mushroom, again, uh, very important, uh, you know, beneficial effects on the immune system, um, also helps uh, lower blood pressure and, uh, and cholesterol, um, and helps fight viruses. 
So next slide, please. Cordyceps mushroom. This is an interesting mushroom. This mushroom uh, or fungus actually um, grows on insects, but uh, we actually grow ours on purple corn. Okay, and in the process of its growth on purple corn, it absorbs some of the anthocyanins that are found in the corn, the pigment in that corn. Okay, and so it sucks up another nutrient that is very, very beneficial. So I thought that this was a, a great way of, you know, boosting the effects of a single ingredient um, by, by growing it on something else. Um, that provides beneficial effects. So next slide, please. Now, botanical medicine, herbal medicine, has been around for millennia. Okay? It really has only been recently, okay, um, by the late 1800s and early 1900s, that um, mainstream medicine started disting, distancing itself from the herbalists. Okay? However, when you look at the medicines that were available at the time, most of them were plant extracts, which is pretty interesting, okay? But now what we're doing is, is we're sort of going back, going back to um, that old tradition. You know, more and more drug companies uh, are looking to nature, you know, for, for new treatments and new remedies. Um, and, and they're out there. Okay, and I think that that really is the best way, um, you know, for us um, a, as a society um, to, to start treating, treating our diseases. Ne next slide, please. Okay, now we have some other ingredients, the other stuff. We have uh, biopyrene, curcuma, curcuma root, white tea, black seed, grapestone, kelp seaweed, and green tea. Um, the biopyrene, uh, this is an extract from black pepper. It's not just black pepper itself, but, it, but it's an extract. And uh, that uh, um, uh, product um, costs $600 per kilo, so a little over $250 a pound, okay? Uh, and it has been shown to improve absorption of nutrients dramatically. Okay, so it's not just what you eat that matters, it's, it's what you absorb, okay? So if you're not absorbing things as well as you should, I mean, you can eat all the healthy food in the world and you're not gonna get the nutrients. But the biopyrene in there is added um, to, to give you, or to make sure that you're going to absorb all of these, these nutrients. Uh, the curcuma root, uh, turmeric, and I think there's a slide on turmeric if we could advance um, what's in? Oh, these are some medicines that are derived from plants in nature, okay? Uh, and the list, this is not an, an exhaustive list by any means, but these are some things that are commonly, uh, that people might have heard of, um, that, um, um, uh, that, that come from nature. Um, next slide, please. Okay, the curcuma root. Uh, this is a very powerful um, anti-inflammatory um, turmeric. So that's that spice from India that doesn't have much flavor but turns everything yellow. Okay, but it's been used in India for uh, for millennia. Uh, it's it's great for gastrointestinal things. It's great for arthritis, um, headaches, uh, menstrual cramps, uh, and there's some studies going on. Um, looking at uh, uh, turmeric, there's something in there called cucumarin, okay, um, which seems to help uh, the brain process proteins and help cleave them in the right spot, okay. And uh, an accumulation of proteins, neurofibrillary tangles, is a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So there's a lot of study going on with regards to Alzheimer's and, and turmeric, okay. Um, and uh, again, in clinically relevant doses in MOA. Next slide, please. Okay. So, in summary, um, MOA is a a blend of thirty-four superfoods um, in in clinically relevant doses for for the key ingredients. 
uh, and uh, it gives you a wide array of antioxidants, phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals, um, very potent stimulants uh, for the immune system, um, plus it has uh, the biopyrene in there which makes sure that you're going to absorb as many of these nutrients as possible. Um, I don't know about uh, you, Woodson, but uh, this is something that I'm going to take for the rest of my life because uh, I think that it's, it's, it's an essential part of my day along with uh, so many of the other products that uh, RX has to offer. Absolutely, no doubt about it. I, I, I can, now I'm starting to understand why I feel so amazing having added MOA to my daily regimen. Um, I just knew that I felt great. And now everything that you've talked about, I go, whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. So I'll turn it back to you. Yeah, and you know, study after study has shown that, that people who eat at least two servings of fruit a day, okay, and especially if it's different types of fruit, their health is better than people who don't, okay? Here we have 34 you know, superfoods, not all of them fruits, but superfoods. Uh, so it only stands to reason, you know, that you've got a, a wider array uh, and, and uh, you know, a, a much greater host of all of these nutrients um, in your system on a daily basis. It has to translate into better health. Well, Dr. Greg, that makes perfect sense. I mean, it, it really does. It has to translate to something good um, because there's so much great stuff packed in here. Is there anything else out there on the market that has this put together? I mean, to my knowledge that there isn't, but to you as a physician, is this really a revolutionary product? It is, and you know, um, you know, we, you know, we can't make you know claims about MOA. We we can't we can't even standardize it, you know, because you know when you're dealing with whole foods, whole fruits, you know, let's say you you take take an apple from the same tree, you know, one's grown high and one's grown low in the shade, they're going to have different nutrients in them. Okay, but I can say with with pretty much, you know, 100% certainty that there is not a product on the market like this, nor will there ever be, okay? From the sheer cost of some of the ingredients that go into the product and the commitment by the company, especially Deanna Latson, to make sure that the that these products, these, these fruits, these, you know, um, nutrients are there in meaningful doses. Okay, some companies make claims about their product, but they water the ingredients down so much that they actually have no clinical clinical benefit. In fact, in the the key ingredients in MOA, in some of the compared to other juices out there that that contain these ingredients, there's more in one shot of MOA than and then some companies have in their whole bottle. Okay, so um, that's that's the potency of this product. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, that says a lot right there. Well, um, that, that is amazing. Is there anything in closing um, that, that you would like to say? I just can't believe you just said in, in one serving in, in some of these ingredients, I'm getting more than in some other products out there having their whole bottle. That is where the rubber meets the road. That explains a lot why, why it makes such an impact so quickly, and you just take an ounce to an ounce and a half twice a day. Is there anything you'd like to share with people about how they administer it or um, when they should take it or what you would recommend? Oh, Dr. Well, that's okay. Dr. Greg, he's so funny. He just sent me a text. He said, oh, no, my phone, my connection just went. But here's what I'm going to share with you. Guys, all I know is it says take the MOA in the morning and in the evening, and I do it twice a day, an ounce to an ounce and a half. Anyone I speak to, I share with them the benefits of just how it has made me feel. And from my grade 28, we want you to have all the nutrition that you can. We want to get your body back in balance. We want you to be absorbing all of these amazing superfoods 
so that you can get on track to either have the energy you wanted, the weight loss that you've been looking for, sleeping better, your digestion, whatever it is, please incorporate MOA into everything that you do. And that is why we're so proud to have that as part of our pack of what we do. Thank you so much, Dr. Greg, for joining us. And to all of you out there, thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to see what translates for the week. Send us your photos. Send us your testimonies. migrate 2 at gmail.com. Your stories are phenomenal. You're going to start seeing video testimonials, more pictures, and a lot more information on our website, migrate28.com. Y'all have a super evening, and thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Greg. Thank you to everyone on our health panel for giving us such amazing information and teaching us through this whole process. Good night.